Hey guys, Kyle Studer. I mentor and coach final expense and mortgage protection agents to become top producers in the life insurance industry. I'm doing a talk today on self-care. How getting into the life insurance industry can give you more time in your personal life to do things that are of interest to you. Hobbies, social activities, church engagements, whatever it may be. So the average, the average salary in America right now, according to Google, is $48,000 a year. Okay, So this, this video is not about how you can make $250,000 working three days a week. Okay, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the majority of America, the average income for a whole year for 12 months is $48,000. That's gross. So then they take tax and all that lovely stuff out of your pay. Is it possible to make 50, 60, 40 thousand dollars a year working one to two days a week in a business for yourself? Yes, I'm here to tell you that you can do that. Now, you I'm not saying, hey, that's all you should shoot for. I'm saying you should do what you want to do. Okay, let's start there. Because the only way you're going to succeed is if you are pursuing something that you want. If you're chasing a dream or a goal to impress somebody else or this goal or this dream has been kind of bestowed upon you and you've kind of just adapted and accepted somebody else's mission, I'm of the belief that you're going to run out of fuel. That's not what's going to give you the the peace, the enjoyment, the fulfillment, because that matters. Okay, I don't hear enough people talking about that, uh, about fulfillment, about joy and enjoying what you do and, and loving your business. Uh, the money is not going to do it. I mean, I, I've heard people say that, but I, but you know, even when you, when you hear that, well, money won't make you happy. Well, if you don't have any money, it's really hard to believe that. It's really hard to like be in your particular situation, you know, in debt, having to work on this, basically a hamster wheel you're running on every two weeks to make your bills to, to provide for your family. It's very hard. You think, well, if money would help me a lot. So, but I, I want to stay on track here, guys. So what I can do, what I'm claiming to be able to do is to take a, a motivated individual who knows who they are. They're an adult. They're responsible. Uh, they've shown uh, examples in the past of how they've been disciplined. Maybe it's in the gym, maybe it's in another line of work, or maybe they've got some kind of side business already. It's just not scalable. It's not doing what they want it to do. What I can do is teach somebody how to make what they make currently in their job. If that's your goal, we'll talk about it. If you make $50,000 a year, then that's about average. Okay, That's male, female, everybody mixed up. It's $48,000 a year is the average. Can you do that working two days a week? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay? So, why would we want to do that? This is the biggest thing to me. Everybody's different. This is, this is what mattered to me. I was really big on my freedom, and I'm passionate about showing people how they can get more freedom. I think that one of the biggest problems in America is we run ourselves ragged. We don't have enough time for self-care. You know, I mean, actually, I, I talked to friends recently who changed jobs. They were working their butt off for one company, and then they switched to a new company. And during that layoff, that, that four-week layoff, they remembered what it was like to have time to themselves, to be able to go to a park and take a book and read a book for two hours. And just go home, make dinner, to talk to your friends, to have time for yourself. To wake up in the morning, do some reading, do a jog, go for a walk, talk to your spouse, look at your children, talk with your kids. There's so much more uh, to life than just working, 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 working. These 
the, the companies in America, they are paying you an hourly rate because it's profitable for them. So, and their reason they're doing that, so they don't have to do it, so they can get more freedom and have more time. You don't have to be a massive business owner. You don't need a business loan. You don't need to go in the hole to make a lateral move and to break into a different line of work. Provide for your family, make money, have more time. So, let's talk about a few things that maybe you're interested in doing. If you had more time, if you could make your your income, your forty thousand or your sixty thousand, your eighty thousand, let me tell you, you can make a lot more money than what I'm talking about in the life insurance industry. There are people who write hundreds of thousands of dollars in premium per year, and they are at a hundred, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty, and north of that commission. So if they write a hundred thousand dollars. And they're at 110% commission, they make $110,000 off of that premium. Okay? It's a scalable business. So I'm not trying to, to downplay what can be done. I'm not saying that you should go out and make $48,000. But I'm saying whatever you're making currently at your four to five to six day a week job, your 50, 60 hour occupation, I promise you it can be replaced. Here's what you've got to be able to do. One, preferably you, you have a heart for people. Uh, seniors, this is, that's the stable market right now. The final expense industry, retirement, that is not going to go anywhere. These people get social security. That's what they live on. That's their budget. They don't, they're not affected. Their finances aren't affected by the coronavirus. They're, they didn't lose a job. They're, they're in the same boat financially, okay? So it's a stable industry. You have a heart for people. You can follow instruction. You don't mind putting in work and effort. You have faith in yourself and in me or in whoever you decide to work with. You've got to believe in what you're doing and think that you can do it. Like the, the ability to just think, hey, if one man or woman can do this, I can do it too. That's powerful. That's powerful. So if you're that type of person, I'd really like to talk to you. I'm not going to sell you, okay? I don't want to sell people on getting into the industry. That just makes it more work for me. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like me. I'm going to think, what the heck's this person doing? Why'd they waste their money, their $150 getting an insurance license? So let's not do that. I don't want to force it. But if you think you might want more information, let's talk about it. So you can work two days a week. And let's see here. So the, the best way to describe this, I always talk about this, increasing your earning ability. Okay? So give you an example. I can back this up with, with numbers. When I was at a cubicle job, I worked 100 hours every two weeks. 50 hours a week with commute and everything, I'd get $911 in my bank account, okay? Last year, working basically one day a week, with a, staying home with a little girl four days a week right now. That's what I do, okay? So my situation is unique. I made just under $1,000 a day, $990-some dollars a day. Every day that I was in the field seeing people, that's what I made. And I'm here to tell you, that's not even, that's not all-star caliber. I'm not even selling uh, sophisticated products that would make a lot more income. But the good news is, is that in this industry, you can grow as you're ready to grow. You can learn these products. There's always more to be attained if you want to. Now, if you're comfortable and you like where you are and you're making $50,000, you are working two days a week, one day a week, great. That's perfectly fine. But when I got started, my vision was it wasn't to become, you know, a, a millionaire and to make tons and tons of money. Initially, I wanted to make $100,000 a year. And then I kind of was like, well, you know what would be cool? If I could sell, like, work two days a week, make $75,000, that's pretty awesome. 
like that's a pretty good income that's above average and I can work two days a week so I was living in Kentucky at the time I could go fishing I could take my kayak out I could go to the park walk my dog go go hang out with my little girl who's 23 months I mean you just the whole world opens up to you and it's like it's almost like when you were a kid you know, and you're in high school, you thought that sucked, but now you're 35 and you're like, man, I had it, pr I had it pretty good. You know, I could hang out with my friends and we had a lot of fun. It doesn't have to be this way, guys. You don't have to run yourself ragged. Depression and anxiety runs rampant in America. Everybody's overworking. They're, they're chasing the wrong thing, in my opinion. Uh, fulfillment. Achievement is great. Fulfillment is more important. If you have a bunch of money in you or a lot of achievement, public success, but privately you struggle, you know, your marriage is up in the air, you don't have any time, you, you don't you used to be in good shape, now you've added some poundage because you're at your desk 40, 40 hours a week, it's hard to work out. I, I mean, I'm, I consider myself to be pretty motivated. When I had a 40-hour week job and I got off at 7.30 in the evening, I didn't, you know, there was definitely times where I didn't go to the gym. I, I wanted to go home and just chill. By that time, you've used a lot of your energy, a lot of your willpower. It's the end of the day. You don't want to go to the gym and then be home at your house at 9.30 and eat some food and go to bed. I didn't want to do that, guys. Certainly not five days a week. I mean, that's a large percentage of your life. Just go ahead and divide five by seven. That's the percentage of your life you'll be working if you work a, five, a Monday through Friday type of job. Yeah, there's a little bit of time in the evening. I personally wasn't satisfied with it. I didn't like it. It felt like all I was doing was working. So you get home and you're spending time getting ready for the next day. That wasn't for me. What I'm telling you is the is the truth. Okay, this can be done. Okay, I'm not. This isn't a pie in the sky pitch. I'm not telling you you're going to be a millionaire. Or let's talk about what you want. That's what I care about. Who cares what other people talk about? If you think a hundred thousand dollars a year is, you know, silly, and you would never need that, great. Let's talk about how you can get what you want with the industry that I know about. This is the industry I'm knowledgeable about. I couldn't tell you how to do anything else. Couldn't tell you how to scale a fitness business or anything else. All I could tell you is insurance, life insurance, helping seniors, helping people protect their mortgage and their final expense. That's what I know. You can't be an expert at 10. I don't think you can be an expert really in two different things. It's difficult. I think you got to pick one thing and master it. Work on your craft, grow on it, be somewhere that's stable, be somewhere that you can continually grow and climb. So a few things that maybe you'd want to be doing with your time rather than working. I mentioned work out, eat cleaner. It takes time to meal prep, to eat clean food, to eat better food at home so you're not, you're so busy you're eating fast food, you're eating things out of the box. It kills your energy. It kills your focus. It hurts your physique. A lot of people want to look good. Read more books, social activities. You can travel. Be involved with your church, your spouse, your children. Start a blog. Maybe you're an artist. You'd like to paint more. You'd like to create music. Whatever it is, guys, what you need is more time. And what you need in order to have more time You've got to work on your earning ability. How can I earn more money per unit of energy that I give? If I work from 8 a.m. and I see my first client and I see my last client at 8 p.m. and I do that one to two days a week, now maybe that's not the schedule for you. You can do your schedule however you want. Can you make an average or above average salary doing that? Yes, you can. Do you have to be a guru? Do you have to know all these crazy products? No, you don't. This is simple, whole life insurance. Client's uh, monthly payment never goes up. The benefit stays the same. It doesn't expire. They have it come out of their bank account when their social security hits their funds. 
You show them three options. They pick the one that's comfortable in their budget. You can ask them uh, top-down selling. You can ask them their budget. Mr. Client, if we could get you something for $150 a month and we could qualify you for that, is that comfortable? No. $100 to $125 a month. Okay. $50 to $75 a month. Okay. $20 to $50 a month. Okay. $15 to $30 a month. You work your way all the way down. You can find their budget. Help them out. Give them something they can afford. These insurance companies compensate us very well for helping these clients. So that's all for now. Um, this is something I'm really passionate about, guys. I'm, I've had people you know, speaking into my life that have private jets, all the exotic cars. For a moment, I had, I was like, yeah, I, I want that. You know, I want to do this. I want, I want a 10,000 square foot house. I want this. I want this. Uh, you know, I don't think it's real. I don't think, I, you can have it. You can do it. There's people that do it. But the people that I know that did it kind of got it in a way that I don't agree with. So I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about you know, Ferraris and Bentleys and mansions. I'm just talking about practical, let's see if I can help you. You make $65,000 a year. That's great. Congratulations, you're already above average. Now, are you giving them 50 hours a week? What if I could truly show you how to work 30 hours a week or 25 hours a week? What if we could do that? Would it make a difference for you? Would you like to have more time? Would you like to control your schedule and be in control of your life in a business that you can build on? You don't have to stay there. But I'm just trying to meet people where they are. Google says the average salary is 48000 That's why I'm talking about 48000 because average is most people. That's majority. They're the majority of people who see this video are going to be just north of that, just south of that. So if you'd like to talk with me, guys, I'd love to help you. Uh, again, I sell life insurance. I teach others how to sell final expense, mortgage protection, life insurance. Uh, if you want to talk, hit me up on, uh, I'm on Instagram. Kyle Studer, Final Expense, Kyle Studer FE, at Kyle Studer FE, Facebook, Kyle Studer, YouTube, Kyle Studer, uh, private message me, email me, studerkyle2 at gmail.com. I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't get drug into the, uh, the matrix, the illusion. Don't be drug into somebody else's plan for their life. If you're in a company, you see one person at the top growing exponentially incredible growth and nobody else is they're stagnant there's something wrong growth is natural growth is natural but if you're in an environment where you're being held back you may not even know it yet but let's talk about it maybe I can help maybe I can't but I'm willing to try hope you guys have a great day uh, talk soon thanks for watching Bye.